Okay, Gemini, sorry about that. You are definitely going through an, an ascension. And by ascension, when all kinds of bad things are happening around you, that is so you can transmute that energy so that you can keep moving forward. I see some of you... Um, I hear this song. Just go ahead now. Something you and something me. I'm the, 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 can't you see? I ain't got no friends or a family tree now. So somebody feels very lonely. Somebody is not saying what they want. These are channeled messages right now, Gemini. I'm going to get the moon manifesting deck out. And we're going to read for your manifesting powers right now, Gemini. The deck is cleansed with rose quartz again and clear quartz. Um, you are the star seed of communication, Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini spirit? Let's see what we've got here. Talk less, feel more. Pisces energies. Um, Pisces energy is very intuitive. Look at somebody meditating. It's almost like they have the orb. I have the power, the magic in their hand. Feminine energy. Big, big, big. Last quarter moon in Pisces. You might be dealing with a Pisces. But this is, somebody is trying to develop their psychic powers as well. New moon in Leo. You could have Leo placements. Shine, baby, shine. Geminis are very good looking. Geminis look young forever. You need to get passionate about whatever you are trying to create. Sunflowers here are indicative of very psychic energy. Water energy here is indicative of very emotional Get your emotions in check, Gemini. Keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Le Libra. So you could have Libra, Pisces, or Leo placements. But I most def definitely see this as psychic energy, balanced energy, and passionate energy. You need to find a balance between all of those. That's going to be hard. I'm sorry. It's really going to be hard. New moon in Leo. First quarter moon in Libra is what we'll read first. First quarter moon in Libra. They don't number the pages. There's a need to be adored here, which is fine. We all have that trait in it to an extent. But it tips you into self-doubt. It's gone too far. Stop doubting yourself, Gemini. It's important that you don't allow yourself to get set in your ways. Keep your heart and mind open. Believe in your gorgeousness. Like I said, Geminis are young forever. The best time to work your magic is when the moon is in Libra on a Friday, Venus Day, or during Venus hours. Visualize yourself with family, friends, and loved ones in a swirling, flowing, flowing column of beautiful and keeling emerald green light. So imagine yourself with your higher self or your ancestors and spirit guides. That is your family. Are you too attached to someone or perhaps your current goal? It's a wonderful thing to care deeply. However, if you start to smother the person or situation you love, you could run into trouble. Work with others as you move, as you move towards your goals, but don't become so dependent that you give away your power. Keep your heart open. This card could also suggest that it's time to negotiate something. And the way to manifest your goals now could be to come up with a solution that pleases everyone. New moon in Leo. So you're going to be brand new. All new everything is what I'm hearing. Be humble. This card holds lots of power. You hold the power. I just, just, I was just singing that song. I got the power. You just need to challenge the heated energies in a wise way. Tension is in the air. You know that you can achieve your goals, which is half the battle. But this card suggests you need to be less show and more substance as you slowly move towards your goals. Don't try to impress anyone with money. Avoid allowing your ego to overwhelm you. Don't opt for something merely because you think it'll impress others. Practice grounding. In a financial situation, slow your spending. And love, if you're being stubborn or possessive, now is the time to stop somebody needs to connect with your sacral chakra or align it it's about sex as well this is the center of your sexual energy and it helps you to connect with the people around you and express your creativity so you've got passion balance and now we're going to go to psychic powers talk less feel more moon in pisces last quarter moon yeah somebody crying about you
the char the danger in your current situation is that you're going to be really good at starting things and less good at finishing them. This card suggests that you need to talk less and feel more. So rather than telling people what you want now, feel your feelings about what you want. What comes up? Do you believe in yourself or not? Perhaps you started strong by running out, but you're running out of steam. If so, go within and ask yourself how committed you are to your goals. Remember, it's okay to change your mind, but Gemini's change your mind all the time. Manifesting. One of the current energies is all about feelings and the other is in its head. Where are you? Can you meld the two? That's the way. Balance. Manifesting mindset. Why ruin a moment with words? Sometimes feelings are enough. It's good to talk, but it's also good to just be. Work with amethyst, purple fluorite, labradorite, sodalite, desert rose selenite, or celestite. I feel all my feelings and it feels good. The best time to work your magic is on a Thursday. Lucky days for Gemini's or on a Thursday. So what is coming in for love for Gemini? Yeah, we've got marriage, relationships, equality. It's about equality in your relationship or tribe love. Justice. Contracts. You've got dreams and illusions over here. Your Libra energy is in reverse. Get that love balance. Get that decisive energy balance. Be sweet. Be peaceful. Be Venus and Neptune. These are the energies you want to exhibit. Very psychic energy. Very beautiful goddess energy. Get dressed up. Put on some makeup and perfume. This could be a bisexual relationship as well. But somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants equality in a um, friendship, relationship. Somebody wants a family. Somebody wants true love and justice. What's the outcome of... Oh, somebody wants to work with you. Somebody is an apprentice at right now or teamwork, tradesperson, achievements. You're going to be collaborating. You can't always know the future, Gemini. This is about mystery, but you have the high priestess. You could be dealing with um, psychic energy and toxic energy, but something's going to be working in your favor. Pay attention to detail. Be dedicated. Have determination for your goals because look, the world is here. And spirit is literally handing you a pinnacle from the sky. You have it. You have it. Success, achievement. Somebody really wants to have sex. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, or a Leo. Or you need to embody those energies. Passion, earth, peaceful energy, air energy, just breezing on through and balance. Somebody could have just came out of a legal situation um, you're going to be getting a financial opportunity, a financial new beginning. Your answers are yes here. Saturn energy is here, so be careful of karmic cycles. Capricorn energy is here, so be careful of the devil. Yep, the devil always want to come in. Virgo energy, power struggles, earth energy, Taurus energy. Be peaceful so you can get your blessings. You could be seeing 21 or hitting that 21 if you gamble. This isn't for everybody. Don't um, fall prey to gossip, malicious lies, bias, loss, mis misery, or one who puts people down and can't be trusted. The queen of swords in reverse is a slice and dice motherfucker. I'm sorry. This is a person that like just talks out the side of their neck and be talking shit. Don't do that, Gemini. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your crown chakra is in reverse when you do that. Ah, we got the snow moon come out. You've already been through transition. Low resources are here, but you're going to be coming out on top. Just remember that. That is what I have for you. I'm Siberia from Cats and Cards. If you find that my readings are resonating with you, please hit that like, share, and follow button. Thanks, Gemini. Bye.